Hi, I'm Susan, and today I'm going to be reading chapter three of Amelia Bedelia's book, Amelia Bedelia Means Business. In chapter one, Amelia Bedelia needs to make a lot of money. It describes all of the surprising and unexpected things that happen as a result. In chapter two, Amelia Bedelia sees a beautiful bicycle and falls in love with it. In chapter three, we find out what happens next. This chapter is a lot of fun and it's one of my favorites. I hope you enjoy it. Chapter three, there but for the grace. And please, said Amelia Medelia, bring me a new bike, amen. After she finished saying grace, Amelia Medelia dove into her supper. Her parents did not begin to eat. They just looked at each other, looked at her, then at each other. Her mom arched an eyebrow as high as it would go. Her dad opened his eyes super wide for a couple of seconds as if someone stepped on his stomach. Had Amelia Bedelia been paying attention instead of twirling her spaghetti and dreaming about bikes, she would have seen this secret eye talk that all parents use to communicate with each other when their kids are present. Amelia Bedelia's father unfolded his napkin, spread it on his lap, then asked, so, has anyone seen any nice bikes lately? Amelia Bedelia sat up straight without having to be told and exclaimed, you wouldn't believe the bike I saw today. She spent the next 10 minutes giving her parents inch by inch description of the most beautiful bike in the world down to the last spoke. Goodness, said Amelia Bedea's mother, a bike that special must cost an arm and a leg. Amelia Bedea shook her head. I would never pay that much, she said. You need both your arms to steer a bike like that and both legs to pedal it. That's a good point, said her father. You certainly need to be big and strong to ride a bike like that. Yes, said her mother. So take a bite of your broccoli before it gets cold. Amelia Bedelia took an extra large bite. How far away is Christmas, she asked. A long way away, said her mother. Amelia Bedelia took a much smaller bite of her broccoli. How far away is my birthday? Even farther, said her father. Did I get all of my allowance this week? Every penny, said her father. But remember, you'll have to pay me if you talk with your mouth full. Amelia Bedelia closed her mouth. She chewed and chewed. Then she swallowed and said, could I get an early Christmas present and an early birthday present a new bike is the only thing you'd have to give me ever for years and years. Well, said her mother, I think it would be better if a bike wasn't just given to you. Amelia Bedelia looked down at her plate. Her stomach hurt. Now she wished she had not eaten any broccoli at all. Since she was looking at her plate, she once again missed the eye talk between her parents. This time her mom's eyes grew wider while both of her dad's brows arched the high enough to graze the ceiling. I agree, said her dad. You should work for a new bike and earn the money for at least half of it. And the Yimadea smiled and looked at her parents. Which half costs more, she said. The front half or the back half? They don't sell bikes that way, honey, said her mother. Then her father said, I'll tell you what. What, asked Amelia Medea. What about what? What do you have to tell me about what? Can we please keep talking about my bike instead of what? 
and Mayabadilla's father patiently refilled his water glass. We can't afford to buy a fa fancy bike like that, he said, but I can meet you halfway. Amelia Padilla slid off her chair. She walked exactly halfway around the table and stood there. Her mom and dad stared at each other and then back at her. Okay, said Amelia Padilla, here I am. Are you going to meet me halfway or not? Amelia Padilla's dad stood up and walked halfway around the table to meet her. He said, we will pay for half the cost of a new bike, but you will have to pay for the other half. He held out his right hand. Amelia Medea looked at it. I can't pay you my half tonight, she said. Of course not, said her father. Tonight, we'll make an agreement. In business, when you agree to do something, you shake the other person's hand. Amelia Medea grabbed his wrist and shook his hand as hard as she could, up and down, up and down, and ow wee, said her father. Not like that, sweetie, said her mother. This is how you shake hands. Her mother showed her how to shake hands with her father. Make it a firm handshake, she said. Your hand shouldn't feel like a dead fish or a wet noodle. Then her parents gave each other a hug. You should probably leave the hug part out, sweetie, said her mother. Why, said Amelia Badia, I love dad. She shook her father's hand and then her mother's hand and then Amelia Badia hugged both of them. Family hug, she hollered. When they were all hugged out, Amelia Badia's father said, now, Amelia Badia, Let's have dessert and talk about how you are going to earn your half of that bike. That was the end of chapter three. I hope you enjoyed it. Let's see what happens in chapter four.